Hi there. I am pleased to have you on this one. Wonder why you find letters and some other strange looking characters in mathematical equations? And why your math teacher will always ask you to find X or find Y? In algebra, we deal with mathematical expressions. And these expressions are representations of real life situations. Representations of ideas and so much more. Like when we say 2x, it means 2 times x. 2x is a mathematical expression and can mean so much more. x here gives the expression the power to be just any value because x can be anything, just as you can be whatever you choose to be. In math, x is called the variable because it can be almost anything, while 2 is called the coefficient. You may ask why mathematicians choose to complicate issues by introducing such letters. Why not leave us alone with just numbers? We should be left with just digits. Actually, mathematicians were just finding ways to overcome the limitations that numbers posed in representing reality. Numbers did fine in representing simple arithmetic statements, but numbers had limited ability in representing more complex expressions. Just like when we say 100 naira added to 200 naira, it is a simple arithmetic expression, which can be represented as 100 plus 200. And when evaluated, it will always give 300 naira. But when we want to express a situation like doubling of any amount of money, yeah, I said it, money doubling. In this case, you wish to get two times any amount of money you give to the money doubler. Now, an attempt to represent this situation with just numbers will prove futile because almost any number can fit into the situation. In order to represent this scenario, mathematicians suggested that a letter should represent any amount that can fit into the scenario. So letters represent general numbers. That is why math teachers will say, let this or that be x. Now let's allow x to represent any amount given to the money doubler. So x can be 100 naira, 200 naira, and any amount at all. So the situation can be written as 2 times x. Since you are to receive 2 times the amount, we can now see that the process of doubling money or anything can be represented by or with 2x. If x represents one football, then 2x has now become two footballs. If x chooses to represent two cars, then 2x is two times two cars, which gives four cars. I gave my money to a money doubler some years ago, and I am still looking for him to return my money. So do not try that at all. The only thing you have to do now is double your hard work and your results will come out fine. This is it for now, guys. Keep practicing and bye.